man in upstate New York, grilling, grabs his Weber, because the wind's taking his canopy down, blew his ass all the way to Chittenango where the Wizard of Oz is in, and then from there he's still holding on to the Weber, takes his ass to Kansas, god dang! Twenty-five mile an hour winds, and I'm still barbecuing. All right, today we're gonna do uh, a redneck poutine and uh, some uh, beef ribs. Heck yeah, it's gonna be great. I don't care if it's windy. At least it's not snowing and raining, and the shanty is still holding up. I don't know how. It's blew over my wood pile in there. It's just it's looking rough. Today we're using the slow and sear on the Weber kettle and uh, we got that getting going. Got some chunk starting. Pop the lid back on, get the temps up, put those ribs on and then later on about two hours in we'll put the that uh, porterhouse on. That's only going to take like an hour tops. So we'll get that back on, get the temp up, be ready to rock and roll. Alright guys, time to start. Cheers. Hell yeah. So I'm sitting in the shanty. Brought in my camp chair. I got this new pad. Keep your butt warm. Heck yeah. And uh, we're about an hour in this cook. It's 34 degrees out. Windy as hell. It's decent in here. It's uh, 45 degrees in here. Um, and uh, the grill is at. It's actually cooking a little high. It's 280 six right now but hey and I got the bottom vent down real low crack just on the top to let the airflow go through and uh, I'm gonna check on these in a minute cheers folks oh yeah looking excellent that porterhouse is almost ready to go for the sear beef ribs starting to get a good bark on them yeah it's rocking so I've already chopped up the fries real thick cut and uh, they're sitting in water right now I rinsed them once now they're just resting in cold water um, let them rest for about two hours drain them dry them off and get them ready for the deep fry like I said you pop them in a deep fryer for a couple minutes pull them out just before they start to brown let them rest on a, a rack before you put them back in they say about a half an hour let them rest uh, and then you pop them back in for that extra crisp so the uh, gravy will not penetrate the skin so that's the way it's gonna be hopefully it's awesome dynamite and for the rest of the kids and stuff I'm gonna make an extra batch of fries and steak just so they have separate for ketchup if you don't like gravy I'm not a big gravy fan I might do the same but I do like the cheese and um, I'm gonna do shredded mozzarella and chunks of mozzarella. Uh, you can use the cheese curds, but man, you would be in like 15 bucks just for cheese curds, man. I'm already in $18 on the porterhouse. Potatoes are cheap, but yeah, it's gonna be, and I cook for a lot of, got four kids, man. And yeah, all the family come over when I cook, so it's gonna be a big batch, the usual. So guys, cheers for family. Man in upstate New York, grilling, grabs his Weber, because the wind is taking his canopy down, blew his ass all the way to Chittenango where the Wizard of Oz is written, and then from there he's still holding on to the Weber, takes his ass to Kansas. God dang! This wind, this year, the weather is insane. How about where you guys are from? Comment down below, because this year has been the drizzling shits. Really, it has been. It's... Hey, the winter that never ended here anyway last year until about June and then it just turned right on to 100 degrees and hot and humid and disgusting and mosquitoes left and right. We live in Tick City Central 
Um, I've never had a tick, thankfully, but uh, one of the animals had a tick twice this year. Just, man, dang. Everybody says, if you don't like the, the weather up there, why don't you move? Well, it's just as bad everywhere else. Everywhere you see catastrophes everywhere. The weather has been insane, and uh, maybe I'm just getting old, and I'm like, I've never really uh, seen any of this before. It's just nuts. I don't know. What do you guys think? Comment down below with the weather patterns in the last few years. Insane. Not a conspiracy theorist. I'm just saying. It's nuts. This earth is getting pissed off or something. All right. That porterhouse is ready to get seared real quick. Pull that off and let it rest for a bit. And uh, check this out. It's still windy as hell. <laughs> Just a quick sear and boy that looks like pitmaster privilege. <laughs> So we're going to roll about a minute and a half, two minutes each side. Pull that off, let it rest. Get in the fries, in the deep fryers. Very, within five minutes. Pull them, let them rest as well. Put them back in. Yeah, the process is ready to rock. Heck yeah. Gonna have to probe those. Those are looking damn near done. One more quick flip. Oh. Hunk of that porterhouse. Check that out. This is an end piece. Nice bark, juicy. It's been sitting for a little while. It's a little. It's not as warm as it was. Obviously, it's only 45 out here. I'm gonna try a piece for myself before I finish up this redneck poutine. Telling you what, <laughs> man, that's good. Just a simple salt and pepper, and then heavy on the pepper at the end. Wow, smoked that actually for an hour and a half, seared it on each side, two minutes, flipped them, two minutes, you know, so twice each side, but and then let it sit for a half hour. Wow. Wow, wow. Go heavy with the seasoning, man. Always works. I can't wait for these beef ribs. They're still on. They got about another half hour. Those um, fries are sitting, waiting to go back into the deep fryer at the higher temp, 375. I did them at 340 for five minutes each. Uh, well, I did two batches. So now they're resting on a rack. And uh, the gravy's done. And then uh, I'm going to put everything all together. You put the fries, the cheese, the steak, all together. Bake that or broil it for, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes just to get that cheese melted. Then you add your um, green onion and then your gravy. 
rock and roll. But I'm going to actually bake it in the uh, Chabra propane grill. Yeah. It's still windy. Jeez. Anyway, we have the fries and the steak all together, the porterhouse with the cheese. We did shredded and chunks. Check this out. We're just, we're just started. I just put it in. Fries have been deep fried twice. Looking great. We're going to get that cheese to melt. Boom. And then after that, I'm going to add some green onion. And dice that up. Slap it all over the top. Drizzle a little gravy on there. Rock and roll. We got redneck poutine all day long. One million mile an hour winds. <laughs> Man, it just did not stop all day long. But anyway, these beef ribs are done. We're going to pull these off. And the, the poutine is just about there. And then we drizzle that gravy on it. And we're eating. I can't wait. I'm starving. I didn't even realize when I took that hunk of porterhouse earlier, that was the first thing I ate all day. I haven't eaten all day. Minus the barley pops. Those always help. But anyway, let's check on these beef ribs. Oh, hell yeah. Yep. Pull them off. Let's check on these, uh, the poutine. Redneck poutine, that is. Woo! Oh, yeah! That is two minutes rock and roll. So after I pull these beef ribs, bring them in the house, come back out. These are done. Rock and roll. I'm going to drizzle. I'm going to actually put the green onions on first. And then uh, drizzle a little gravy on there. Banging. So, guys, how did you celebrate your windy-ass day? <laughs> Mine was barbecue. So, anyway, keep on barbecuing. Keep on having a goddamn good time outside, even if the weather does not allow it. I won't allow them, the weather, to stop me, anyway. That is, that's the way it is, man. This... I had to do a lot of repairs today on this tarp because it was all blown in. Everything was falling over. It was a nightmare. And it's cold. But in here, it's like 50 degrees. So, decent. I like it. All right. Brought the beef ribs in. They're setting for a minute. And here is the redneck poutine. Oh, hell yeah. Drizzle a little gravy on that. Stop the wind for a bit and it would be awesome. And I'm sure this meal is going to rock, guys. Try it out. Deep fried. You cut up your own potatoes. Don't get the old frozen bag of crap. Do your own. Deep fry them. And season them. It is going to rock. Trust me. I mean, just. Oof. And look at that. There's London broil stick. Or, yeah. What was it? Porterhouse steak in there. I smoked that for an hour and a half. Seared it real quick. Chopped her up, diced it in there. Oh, this is this is gonna rock. This is what barbecue's all about, man. Making kick-ass meals that everybody else doesn't take the time to do. That oven in the house is boring. <laughs> so anyway, guys, another great weekend. Minus the wind. I mean, if you had a sailboat, you haul ass from here to Africa in about three minutes. <laughs> it was so windy. But anyway, I'll catch you guys next week for another barbecue. I said maybe, maybe uh, salmon last week, and I heard everybody didn't like it. Like I said, I don't like fish myself, but I thought I could be able to do something really good with it. So maybe I'll go with tuna or shark or something, or who knows? Just like this week. Who knows? Check in. I'll catch you guys then. Give it a thumbs up. Peace.